Greetings, YouTube. I don't block ads on YouTube videos. I make revenue from um, ads on my videos. You're probably seeing one now or did just before this one. Um, and uh, so even though that amount is probably going to go down, seeing as I am not child friendly, I'm not going to be doing individual ratings and I've just taken a blanket, I am not child friendly, which is probably going to drive out my revenue even further. But neither here nor there. I don't block ads. I don't necessarily watch them either, but I don't block them. And one of the ones that's been in rotation really a lot lately has been an ad talking about pharmacy benefit managers. Now, a pharmacy benefit manager, and I'll use the, uh, I can get my mouse to pop up. Here you go. Uh, using the Wikipedia uh, definition, in the United States, a pharmacy benefit manager is a third-party administrator of prescription drug programs for commercial health plans, self-insured empl employer plans, wow. Medicare Part D plans, uh, the federal employees' health benefits programs, and state govern uh, government employee plans. That's a that's a lot of power right there, folks. Now, the thing is, is that the ad is for something where they're talking about the fact that the these pharmacy benefit managers are the reason that our prices are so high. And the PBMs are a symptom. They are not the cause of the problem. The cause of the problem is capitalism. Because we allow drug and medical services to be a profit-based system in America. If they weren't a profit-driven system, we wouldn't have PBMs and our drug prices would be much, much lower. For example, if we had a single payer system and there were uh, um, essentially one massive group of people saying, okay, this is what you are going to charge us for drugs, take it or leave it, we wouldn't have PBMs. We wouldn't have huge drug costs because we would be able to dictate to the drug companies as a people, you are not going to charge us more than X. That's what other, or many other uh, or uh, developed countries have done. They say, no, no, there are caps to how much you can profit you can make. And I think that's completely reasonable. Now, the counter-argument to that is that it costs a lot of money to do research to develop new drugs. I'm not saying it doesn't. But I don't think we should be giving that power to the private sector. I think that should be being done in medical institutions, public medical institutions, ones paid for by tax dollars. I don't think private corporations should be the ones doing the development. I think there might even be an argument for nationalizing the production and manufacture of drugs because they're part and parcel of our survival. I'm not talking about aspirin here, folks. I'm talking about things like insulin and, in my case, gabapentin, which I use as a nerve blocker. So, say, I am not in even more pain every single second that I'm awake. Without my gabapentin, I don't sleep because the nerve pain is too high. But if I'm awake, I'm in pain. Always. But the gabapentin knocks it down to the point where I can do things like film videos instead of writhing on the floor in agony. So, these are things that we as a people need all the time. They're a utility, in my opinion. And when you need things to survive, no one should be able to profit off of that. There should be limits to how much money they can make. So, the PBMs are a symptom, not the cause. The cause is capitalism, because capitalism is a problem. It's always a problem. It is maybe the problem in the world at the moment today. Well, maybe it's tied for social conservatism. Those two things are linked as well. So, while well, I don't support PBMs, I sure as shooting don't think that they're the reason we have the problem. I can see behind the curtain at the guy standing in front of the megaphone, declaring that PBMs are the problem. And the guy 
making that declaration is capitalism. Because he doesn't want us to pay attention to him. He wants us to pay attention to whatever the hell it is he's currently trying to shill. 